I was given the tank by an elderly relative when I was about nine years old. And how that happened, we used to go and visit my auntie Nell and uncle George over in Pinkney's Green. My mother and I used to go and visit them. And their house was like walking into a time capsule. It was beautiful. Um, we'd walk in and there'd be, there was lots of old furniture and lots of antiques that had been passed down through their family over the years. And they were the last of their line. So it was very special to be in that, in that house. And we used, to, we used to sit down and have afternoon tea. And Auntie Nell would have made some scones and, and cakes. Uh, so we'd sit there nibbling away. And their house was also lovely because it was full of animals. Auntie Nell had grown up on a farm. And she loved animals. Uh, she'd take in any waifs and strays that she could. So if it was a cold day, you'd walk in and there were cats and dogs all over the floor, try, all trying to get near the fire because it was, it was lovely and warm in that room. And as well as their house, they had, a, they had a barn at the back of their house. And in the barn, just like their home, there were lots of things all over the place. It was Aladdin's, it was Aladdin's cave to go in and have a look and see what there was there. And one day I went in and there was a box full of metal items. And it, it looked like a box of scrap. And I asked Uncle George what was going to happen to it, and he said that he was going to throw some of it away and other parts he was going to melt down. And I looked in the box and there was the tank, this little tank. And the tank was in two parts, um, part of the, the track and the side armour had broken away. But I could see that it was very old and that it was handmade. And I also recognised, even though I was nine, that it was a tank. Um, a World War tank. So I asked him if I could have the tank and he was a bit puzzled because to him it was just a piece of junk and he couldn't understand why a nine-year-old would want such a thing. Um, but he gave it to me and at the time I didn't have any understanding of World War One history. Uh, my only experience of World War One was reading war memorials and reading names on gravestones in churchyards and going to Remembrance Day service because I was a chorister over in Cook and Dee Church. Um, but at the time I didn't really know that much about World War I history. But I took the tank home and it sat for many years on my bookshelf in my bedroom. It was still in two parts and in the 1990s I asked a family friend if he could solve it back together for me, which he did. At about this time, I worked out exactly how old it were, was, that it was a World War I piece of trench art, um, possibly made by a soldier at the front. And it's a model of a Mark I tank. The Mark I was used in the fleurs Cochelette battle, of, which was in 1916 as part of the Somme Offensive. And that's how I got the tank. Thank you.